Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and uh, this video is a little bit unplanned. I didn't include it that first in my original JavaScript series which is still running. You'll see the videos. And to be honest, I'm keeping myself a little away from videos for a couple of weeks now. I'm focusing more on health and enjoying a little. Anyways, something interesting came up in the discussion which I, which I was having with one of the client and I did something which was not very usual. So the entire team of the client whom I was working with uh, got just, whoa, whoa, just wait a minute, what, what you just wrote there in the JavaScript and that's what get my interest that I should talk a little bit more on this double shots, double bangs and a whole lot of other fancy name for this term. Now understanding this is a little bit complex if you just see the documentation but let me show you what actually it means. And another side note, yes I know many, I'm moving this entire series for similar discussion like this videos onto my website. It's still free, it will be free but keeping this playlist organized is really a nightmare for me so in the future also these similar discussion and similar uh, advanced videos will, not advanced, but similar uh, videos will come up on my website. It will be free. So I highly recommend to join up there. It's free and similar videos will be uplate, uploaded there and I won't be disturbing the series on the go just like this one. So we were discussing something about OAuth and that was the implementation that we needed for this client project. So that's where I showed some of the work that how we can actually integrate this and I did something really interesting. So let me show you this. I'll open up my VS code and I'll drag and drop this sample here. Let me just go all the way full screen just like we always. And what I'll, I'll open this double shot dot JS which is totally empty file. Now it's a couple of questions that I would rather like to ask you. So let's just say if I define a constant here or variable, doesn't really matter, don't go into the debate of const var let, it just is a variable or constant for us. So we're having this one and I'm calling this one as Google. Okay, fine and easy. And then I'm creating another one whether you like it or not, I'm going to call this one as FB and I'll call it as null. Okay, now coming on to the point, if I put up an if block and I just simply put up a console log here that says something like this, I execute and then simply block one. Okay, just bear with me for a second and we are just all done. Okay, now a couple of questions I would like to ask. What will happen if I just go ahead and say it like this and I say it like this? What do you think which block will execute? Will this block will execute or will this block will execute? Block one or block two? Let's go ahead and run this and try to see this. In case you have watched my series, then obviously this shouldn't be a big question to you as of now. Let's go ahead and run this. So node and this one is a double shot. So we're going to say double shot. So pretty pretty uh, nothing new, nothing fancy, I execute block one. The reason for that is the discussion about the truthy and the falsy value. I have discussed that in the past that anything that is null and zero or false itself, they are mostly same but I did use the word that says truthy and the falsy value. The reason why we call them as truthy and the falsy and not exactly true and false is how the language and the core behind the language works comes into the picture. So some of you might be expecting that since FB is null and if I put up, it literally puts up a null here and that's why this block is not executing. You are right here. But there is a little bit more to the picture. When you put up a variable FB, it is evaluated and null is considered as not as false but false C value. So here you get something which is not false but false C. Both gives the same result and in both cases we are not able to execute that. But when you are talking about something which is in the production level, something like OAuth and you are implementing such authentication, many times you will come into the picture where you don't need a false C value. You need a 100% true or a false value. So how can I convert these false C values into an actual false or true T values into an actual true? And that's where something magic comes in. Now what will happen if I put up an exclamation of the FB? Now pretty much all of you can guess this one that it will execute both the blocks. But what has happened inside or under the hood of the JavaScript is now no longer this FB is considered as a false C value. It has considered as true or the false, depends on what logic, 
but now it is not true the or false false value it is actually true and false literal true and false and it is a boolean now 100% i can say that these are boolean values so sometimes you are going to notice that in order to convert something into not a truthy and falsy value but in sometimes to convert these things into an exact boolean the only way or the best way to do it is actually an exclamation sign but since exclamation actually reverse a logic that's why some of the time you're going to see people using two bangers or also known as two shots and there are different names for it and that on the way it actually gives you the exact same result that you are looking up for so this is what i exactly did while having a discussion put up a two banger just like that and everybody was shouting like hey wait a minute wait a minute what just you did why two exclamation what's the point of it of putting two exclamation you can actually get away with that and you'll still get the same result no i'm doing something which is good for all of us performance wise and the reliability wise because under the hood this is the best practice how do i know it yes that's a good point and that's a good discussion so if we'll go on to the airbnb documentation as you know i'm a big fan of reading the documentation so if you look up this here is something they are saying very very interestingly and very cleanly so they define a variable const age which is zero again not a false but false c value so when you want to convert something into a boolean similar to zero or null then there are a couple of ways that they mention which are bad good and the best as well so i was trying to implement this best one here so you can definitely use a new boolean remember we talked about the new object kind of a thing in my series in case you know that so definitely this is one way we can do it but as i mentioned in the series as well i usually avoid that you can also use something like this a direct boolean in which you are not creating a new object still casting it as a boolean but the best way is to use the two exclamation signs or the two uh, shots however you say that so this age is a zero so it's a falsy value so with the first exclamation sign you actually convert it into true but 100% we are sure it's a boolean value and putting up an another exclamation sign you just make it as it is so converting it back into false but this is actually the best way and actually to be honest i have tested it out in a couple of production grade application that it actually gives in the logger run good performance and everything so again uh, but yes i would say that there are debates around it that which one you should opt in for but yeah some of the people who have been writing code for a while actually use these kinds of shortcuts and sometimes we don't really like to explain it that much but that's why i've created this video for the team who i've been working with for a while as a consultation for that project as well as to a lot of you to understand that what this is double shot is all about so again i highly recommend to go ahead and uh, subscribe to this course or join this course because i'll be keep on adding more courses and more stuff just like this one on my website and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and uh, enjoy